to my channel. Today's video is an unboxing and I think this is my pretty obsessed for it is. Excuse me. I've got the tail end of a cold. It is my pretty obsessed box. <coughs> oh, I can't even tell I've got the tail end of a cold. Anyway, I'm really, really excited. So this is the second pretty obsessed. Obsessed? Did we hear that then? <laughs> My mind's clearly not here. Pretty obsessed box. And um, I think I pay $14.99 for this plus postage and packaging of about $2.99. So I think it comes to like 17 something. Which is slightly more expensive than some of my other boxes. Now the first box I got was good. Um, I quite liked it. Some items in there I hadn't used before. Um, so I decided it was worth another look. So it's their November box. There wasn't any prices in the last one, and if I can, if there isn't any prices in this one, I'll see if I can troll through and find some. But for me, uh, I, I was gonna say I don't really care how much the box is, but don't get me wrong. If you're gonna send, I spent seventeen quid on it. If I get ten pounds worth of products, I'm gonna be peeved. But you know, it's more about the products inside. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right. I do like the pink box though. Ooh, looks quite oh, full. Right, let's see what's in the box. So it does come with a little leaflet and it basically says welcome to Pretty Obsessed monthly boot box and um, refer, refer a friend to product information, new box design and then all their kind of Instagram, email and Facebook bits but there's nothing in there, that's it, so there's nothing else on any of it. Right, okay I'm going in. So I have the Lord and Berry Ultimate Lip Liner, not tested on animals, which is great. It doesn't say what shade it is. Three o four one. I mean, what is why? Why numbers? Surely we've got names. Ooh, I like that vintage rose. Check that out. It's a really nice. And oh, I've got loads of lippies that go with that. Oh, I'm well impressed with that. Such a good colour is definitely, definitely my colour. And it's full size. None of this little half mini stuff we'd be getting in the other box. Well, I've got, I got one in the last box. So I like that. I like that a lot. That colour is really pretty. It's a nice kind of dusky kind of rose colour. What on earth is that? Oh, oh, I like this. So this is Bubble Tea Bath and Body. It's fizzy bath powder, summer fruits tea, bubbles and tea edition. It's 300 grams, it's weighty. There's a lot of product in that. And it's got obviously a seal there for if you wanna do a spoon and then a shaker. And this hydrating fizzy bath powder uses blends of scrumptious summer fruits and divine tea notes. You decide how much infusion your bath needs. Leave your skin feeling silky soft. Ooh. So it's paraben, SLS and SLES is E L. Oh my God. SLES free. <laughs> this is not food. <laughs> Do not eat. I'm well impressed with that, well impressed. Now, I can't smell a single thing. I may be looking like I have a little mini cold, but I can't smell and my taste is kind of dodgy. So there's no way I can smell this. However, I this is for me, so it'll be in an empty because I'm really into baths in winter. I just want to be warm, so we'll find that out. I like that. Right, the next one, Oh, I've never heard of this. A Hikari? A Hikari starstruck peel off face mask purifies pores and firm skin. Why can't your face mask be fun? You will feel like a superstar in our shimmering starstruck glitter mask. Not only is it pretty, but this mask contains key ingredients that purifies pores and firm skin, leaving it visibly smoother. 
So this is a used till your face, so yeah, your face must dry as mask. Oh wow, hang on. There's a little, oh, let me move it down. Oh. So there's a little window. Check that out. That is like pure gold. And those are little black stars. And little circles. I'm quite impressed with that. So little things, a sparkly star face mask. <laughs> I'm going to be trying that one. And it's a brand that I've never heard of. So it's made in China, designed by the, designed in the USA. I don't know if I'm going to cough, hang on. I did cough. <laughs> so yeah, well impressed with that. Purifies pores and, pores and firm skin. I do like a face mask. I like peel off ones as well. Oh, and from the same brand, I guess the same brand, yep, yeah, we have, whatever it is, it's in Jeff Black. Oh, it's a mascara. Oh, I like that. I like the, uh, the feel and the weight of that. It's very, very classic. Oh, no, I always smell. I can't smell anything. It's quite a nice um, applicator, though. It's quite a big head. We shall see what that one brings. Um, it doesn't say whether it is, it says ingredients distributed by Hato. I can't, so I'm guessing it's not waterproof because it would say if it's waterproof. And then the last thing I have, oh, I like this. However, sad to say that I have it already. So this is the Bella Pierre Cosmetic Heat Wave Highlighting Palette. It's a really, really nice palette. Now bear with me, I'm gonna find mine. Okay, I'm back. My box, I kept, I keep all the really nice boxes. This was Glossy Box last year. So in here is the highlighters that I keep. So this is my good version of this. Now this is a really, really nice highlighting set. I got it from a Look Fantastic box a while ago and it's got five. Now they're all really pretty, I'm gonna swatch them. So um, this is the one I use the most. Start with this side. Uh, so this is more kind of like a white, kind of like, it's got like a champagne sort of tone to it. And the next one has got more of like an apricot, um, although I'm not sure you can see that one very well. So this one is probably the darkest maybe of them, which is that one there. And it's got more kind of like a bronze gold undertones to it. This one I like for highlighting like my nose. It's really, really nice. And it stands out probably the brightest of them. And then my favorite one is this one here, which I use quite a lot, which is that one. It's really, really pretty. And then, as you can tell, I don't even tell very well, but I use that a lot. Um, it's a really, really nice palette. And with the five different ones, I find that I can do summer, winter, and I can do inner corners of eye looks and things like that. So I love this and it's really, really good. It's a damn shame that I already have it. Otherwise, I would um, be well impressed. I mean, I'm impressed that it's in there, to be fair. It's just like I say, it's a shame that I have it. But it happens because I get quite a few boxes. However, I have a sister who's 14, so that's me and Bubba Rat and Terrible. And um, yeah, I tend to give her the makeup that either doesn't suit, so I get duplicates off. It's getting there Christmas, so she usually gets a massive kind of makeup bag with bits in. So that will be going for her because she will love it. So I'm going to pop that there. And that was the contents of my box. So I was really actually quite impressed with this box. I think this box is better than the last one, although the last one was really, really nice. I liked it. So I think I'm going to, for me, I think it's worth to have a look at what their December box is going to be. So recap, Bath Fizzer Bubble Tea, 
really, really quite happy with those. For the bath powder, hopefully, apparently it's some fruits, but I will smell it once I can smell. Um, there is a mascara. Um, it's a Hik Hikari mascara. And there's a Hikari face mask, which is a uh, peel off face mask, purifies pores and firm skin. It's got stars and sparkling gold. Well impressed with that. There's a beautiful full size Lord and Berry um, vintage rose lip liner. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to wear that today. And then I have the Bella Pierre Heat Wave um, Highlighting Palette. One, two, five different colours. It's gorgeous. It's like I say, it's just a shade that I have it already. One, two, three, four, five. I quite like that one. So my pretty obsessed box. Number two is definitely a thumbs up for me. Anyway, um, what did you think? Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to attempt to find some prices. And if I do, I might... Put it in the description and see if I can stick it along this video, but it depends how my technical skills work out. You know it. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.